Hey, what's up guys? I just want to go over our best-selling fiber optic connectors that we've been moving over the past three years, three to five years. Um, if you're trying to figure out exactly what type of connector you have at your job site or your location, it's probably one of these three. Let's get to it. Our third best moving connector style is the ST connector. Now I also call this the set and twist connector. It just kind of helps me remember it's the ST style. Um, it's very similar to the old school BNC coax connectors where you push your connector in and you give it a twist. So set and twist, this is available in, uh, you can also use this in a multi-mode and a single mode type of fiber cable. And for patch cables, uh, often these guys call it either simplex or duplex. You might see that terminology, but that just means one or two strands. But either way, it's still just one connector. Okay, so our second best mover is the SC connector, the set and click. It's a square design, and I think over the past 10 years it's been pretty popular because you can squeeze more of these connectors on an adapter panel in the wall mount and rack mount boxes. And on the fiber patch cords, uh, there are these little clips that some assembly houses use to go ahead and attach the two connectors to to make it one patch cord. It's a little easier on installation compared to the ST connectors. Now our most popular fiber connector that's been moving lately over the past couple years seems to be the LC connector, the lift and click style. This connector, I think it's gaining so much momentum because a lot of the new switches by HP and Cisco, they have an LC female built into them. So if you're looking to do a 10 gig application with single mode or the 50 micron fiber, more than likely it's the LC connectors that they're going to want inside those type of switches. Now I have seen SCs also, but it seems like nowadays it's the LC. There is an SFP module that you're going to have to put in there. And a lot of times I get calls like, hey, my connector type is SFP. No, it's probably more than likely an LC female and you need an LC male connector to go ahead and plug in there. So that's pretty much it. You guys have any questions or comments, do it below and I'll do my best to answer them and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.